guys, it's Vashel and welcome back to my life. Okay, I literally have had a really kind of stressful week. So I wasn't able to vlog anything this week. I've been trying to sort out some personal business and it's really stressing me out. But it's Saturday and it's the weekend. I just finished work. I'm in town now because Amara and her friend came to town today which makes me really, really nervous, <laughs> you know, for them to come to town by themselves. So um, I'm hope, I hope that they finish running whatever errands. I don't know what kind of errands 13 year olds have to do. So I hope they finish, but I'm just going to call her. Let me call her now to see where she is. Yeah, I know, but, but I know I'll go with you guys. Hold on, Miss Wall, let me see where you buy. Miss, what is she? She's already been shopping. Uh -huh. 60 something dollars. 60 something. Oh, she, oh, she went in by Diamond Girl and bought what? Two things and it came up to 60 something dollars? Yes, girl. That's how it is. Money, when you, when you start spending money, it just, the rest of it just completely disappears. So, what did you buy? Open it, let me see. You guys know Amara is the queen of edges, so she went to stock up on her um her stuff for the edges. No, I'm try this new. Gummy gummy styling wax. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amara, say yeah. Okay, well I, we will we'll do an unboxing when we get home then. So why are we going back to Diamond Girl then for my, for Dora? Okay, alright. Back to Diamond Girl we go all it and eat. Are they going to eat anything? Okay. They don't have any hair. Oh. See, Rasa girl said that when I'm having a cool airing, see, so I think this is something. You are um, blogging? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone that looks good. Yeah, I have no problem with the um with the shades. I don't have a problem with the no scarf. With the sweat. So we got pizza at Subway. My favorite Subway pizza is always the steak and cheese. So we got that. Woo! Looky, looky, looky. Hey guys, I really hope that you can see and hear me because I'm on my lunch break and I decided to come outside. Let me tell you, Ev, I have been like very good at being positive on my channel right and I don't rant a whole lot <laughs> but I, I saw something on Twitter yesterday that really really irritate me and I have to rant about it now there's this guy I'm not even going to call his name there's this guy who's a Vincentian and he thrives, I think, on um, attention. Now, he has done a really good job in the past of bringing attention and light to certain issues that really needed the attention. So I give him props for that. 
but I think all of like that the attention and the popularity and notoriety that he has gotten from that has gone to his head so now he just says all sorts of outlandish things I think just to get even more attention and it makes no sense he posted where's the thing he posted something about Vincent and girls and I find him very very out of place I'm actually going to post it here on the screen but it says them Vincy girls achievement in life is to cack up on boat and take swimsuit photos for social media hashtag no focus hashtag lack ambition like how out of place is that how would it a problem if people want to go on a boat or a yacht in a cute swimsuit and take a picture for social media how is that a problem how does that translate to you not having any focus or to you not having any ambition like how how but what i love is that in true vincentian fashion my girls slayed and my entire twitter feed yesterday and so far today has been of all the amazing Vincentian women posting their gorgeous pictures of being cock up on somebody boat and on somebody yacht. So take that. <laughs> He just really, he just really, really irritate me. I don't like to like rant and vent and thing, but he really irritate me because I found that it was really, really out of place and really out of timing. Like, if it doesn't bother you, right? If it doesn't hurt you, just leave it alone. Jeez. Anyway, one of the other reasons I came outside is because since yesterday, like, there's this mango tree that overhangs into the yard of my office. And since yesterday, oh, there's an ambulance. Since yesterday, I was trying to stone this mango. I already ate my lunch, but I find these days, even after eating lunch, I crave for something sweet. So instead of me, you know, buying a chocolate or some kind of junk food, I am really going to try to get this mango. So like let us see if I have any girl, any country girl days left in me. Okay. So I already have I already have the stones that I picked. I mean it's the stones that I broke. And look the tree there and look the mango right there you see it nice and ripe right and that's like the only ripe one on the tree there's those that are like so close to the ground but they're not ripe so I gotta I gotta get that one Thank you.